And that breaking news is out of Sacramento where an Amber Alert was issued after police say a man shot two people before abducting a child. And this whole thing started around 5 o'clock tonight at a home on 63rd Street and 14th Avenue in the Tahoe Park area. Case Area 3's Melanie Wingo is live from the scene right now with the latest. Melanie. Well, it is quiet in this neighborhood right now. Things getting back to normal, but I do want to step out of the way and show you where all of this took place earlier this evening. Take a look across the street from where we are right now. There's a car. It has some busted out windows. I'm told from a neighbor uh, who had her brother witness all of this, that the suspect involved actually used a skateboard to bust out the windows there. Let's show you some video from the scene a little bit earlier this evening. Police Police say a man named Joshua Yago shot a man and a woman before abducting the woman's child and leaving uh, in the woman's car. Both the man and the woman are expected to survive. Police say the suspect is likely headed in the car to the San Jose area. So they've issued an Amber Alert for Alameda and Contra Costa counties. We want to show you as well who to be on the lookout for. Joshua Yago is described as a 30 year old man, five feet, 10 inches tall, 170 pounds. He is considered armed and dangerous. Leo Norvell is the three year old he allegedly kidnapped. And this child weighs about 35 pounds, has lighter skin with curly shoulder length hair. The suspect was last seen in the area taking off in a 2011 BMW sedan, California license plates 6 NTU367. We do want to show you another look at the suspect and the victim. This is an Amber Alert in place for Alameda and Contra Costa counties. That's where police believe the suspect was headed. And based on the preliminary investigation, it is believed that the victims, including the female victims, three year old, and the suspect, they were all known to each other, according to police. This investigation is very active right now. We are going to stay on top of things and uh, hear from some more witnesses in this neighborhood. We'll report back a little bit later. For now, reporting live in Tahoe Park, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.